Hello, my name is Zoray Emel. I'm a PhD student at Vijaya University. I'm going to talk about the synthesis and surface by a functionalization of superparamagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles. This work is in collaboration with the Institut de Chimie Physique at Paris Sud University. As it is known, magnetic nanomaterials are nanoparticles that are attracted to a magnetic field. At the nanoscale, they possess incredible properties, which could see potential use in many fields. Iron oxide nanoparticles, in specific, are widely used in nanomedicine. To synthesize a large amount of nanoparticles, we have chosen an easy and cheap method, which is co-precipitation. In the presence of a stabilizing agent, it is polyacrylic acid. The purpose of our work is to focus on the synthesis, characterization and functionalization of iron oxide magnetic nanoparticles with rhodomine B. We also investigate the effect of two different amounts of polyacrylic acid, 0.5 and 1 gram. Let's move on now to the results. We start by the X-ray analysis. For the two amounts of polyacrylic acid, the patterns show diffraction peaks that refer to iron oxide nanoparticles. Our nanoparticles are in the cubic phase with a crystallite size below 50 nanometers. Then we have the infrared analysis. The two spectra show different peaks that correspond to the iron oxygen bond, nitrogen hydrogen, and oxygen hydrogen bonds specific to the iron oxide nanoparticles. Now let's have a look at the TEM images. As you can see, for the two amounts of polyacrylic acid, the nanoparticles are homogeneous and spherical in shape, with a narrow size. This relates to what I was saying earlier. It confirms the results obtained by the X-ray diffraction. The next point is about magnetic analysis. The magnetic curves for 0.5 gram of polyacrylic acid were measured at different temperature, 5, 100 and 300 Kelvin. At ambient temperature, the magnetic nanoparticles show low remanence and coercive force. Those results confirm their superparamagnetic behavior. To confirm that our nanoparticles are functionalized with rhodomine B, we analyzed the two samples with fluorescence spectroscopy. From the figure, the characteristic peak of rhodomine B appears on the spectrum at 568 nanometers. This peak signifies that rhodomine B was absorbed on the surface. In conclusion, let me sum up my main points. So, Polyacrylic acid modified iron oxide nanoparticles were successfully prepared by co-precipitation. X-ray diffraction and TEM investigations confirmed the formation, the formation of very small iron oxide nanoparticles in the cubic phase. Magnetization analysis shows that all samples have superparamagnetic behavior. The PEL results indicate that the functionalized nanoparticles have fluorescence property. Thank you for your attention. I hope you find it interesting. Now I am happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you.